All right, we are gonna be answering some questions uh, that people have sent me, asking me what type of light I have on my gun and why I have a light on my gun. Um, so we'll go ahead and get right into it. Um, I have, and I still have the box and everything, I have the Surefire X300 Ultra. Um, so this is 500 max lumens output, 1.5 hours tactical runtime. So that's if you have it on the whole time. So this is what the box looks like. Then I'll show you what all it comes with. Um, your paperwork here, instructions. We got the light. This is what the light looks like. And it takes two of those, uh, the one, two, three batteries, which it came with two Surefire ones. This is what they look like. Okay, they're pretty pricey, so don't use the light if you don't have to. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you the uh, features of the light in a second. It comes with all the different uh, tools and, and anything that you want to put it, attach it to your gun, okay? I run it on Glocks and a thing, a Loctite. I don't use the Loctite um, just because I take it off and put it on so, so uh, often, okay? Both these are unloaded. They're both my uh, duty guns. This is a Glock 40, which uh, or a Glock 22, which is a 40 caliber. So basically what you do is, it has these two uh, wings over here. You just pinch them as you're pulling it on over the slide, okay? Right there, your, uh, whatever you want to call it, a rail system underneath. So that right there, and it's gonna lock right, there it is. It's gonna lock right in there, okay? It's pretty stable. Uh, so this is on my Glock 22. You can see it sticks out a little bit. I uh, don't really like that, and I don't really carry this gun that often. I do have to qualify with it because it's my issued gun, um, but uh, this is my duty gun that I use every single day, okay? So you can see it on that. It is flush with it. Really like the look of it. I don't even notice it's there, actually. So. This um, light has a few features. It has a push button right there, and this, this has uh, toggles on both sides, okay? So whatever you do on one side, you can do it with the other side. So right there, you push forward, and the light comes on, okay? Uh, you can move it down, you can move it up, and the light goes on, all right? Same way with the other side. So if I'm going in, I got both hands, I can use my thumb and push up, down, or up, okay? On both sides, all right? It's easy to come off, but while shooting or doing your thing or whatever you're gonna be doing, it's not gonna come off. Uh, the only thing I dislike about it is it rattles a little bit, which is just this glass piece right in front, um, just like moving around. Uh, but that's the only thing. It's not even that loud, um, but sometimes when you're jogging or something, you'll hear it. Um, but if you're jogging, everything else on your belt is making noise anyway. So there you go. Um, this is my Glock 34. I don't know if I said that, uh, which is a nine mil. And this is what I carry every single day. Um, when you buy a light or when you're getting a light, the only, the main thing you have to worry about is uh, like what, what its use is. So I work during the day shift hours. Um, however, sometimes you're gonna go somewhere where it's dark. Sometimes you wanna light up a car um, and you already have your gun out um, or clearing houses, looking for warrant subjects. Um, this is really good if you're clearing a house, you could just uh, use your thumb and you could just pop that light on every now and then and uh, check closets and or if you put that in someone's face, it is going to temporarily blind them, uh, which is great. Now, if you're working midnight, you would probably want the 800 or even the 1000 lumen light uh, because you're gonna be using it in darkness a lot uh, more. Uh, probably something with a little bit more runtime too. Um, an hour and a half continuous is like two, three months of not continuous. Okay. Just, just buy new batteries every two months and you're good to go. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I notice the light when I shoot like at the range? No, I don't even notice whatsoever. I don't notice because it, since it has this toggle, um, and I would normally put my finger on the front of my uh, trigger guard right here. I would just put my finger there. Um, since it has this toggle, I just rest it right on top of that toggle. 
um, uh, and it lets me know where my finger is at all times. So uh, I don't notice it one bit. It doesn't add any more weight that you're gonna notice. Uh, cost, they could be pretty expensive. For the really nice ones, like 350-ish, uh, you can get a no-name brand for like 100 bucks, okay? Uh, Surefire is a really good dependable brand. So that's what I went with. And I actually bought mine used. Uh, another police officer was selling it to get a, a different light. And um, I tried it out in my holster because I had already bought one that accepted a light, a Safari Land. And it accepted this one. And so I paid them 150. I think it's 260 right now for this light. So um, I got a little bit of a deal. So that's it that's all okay should you get a light yeah what if you work day shift yeah what if you um don't really need one well why wouldn't you need an extra flashlight i also carry a stinger on my belt so this is just a secondary light in case you, you need it um if your gun is in your hand you don't want to be reaching for your flashlight when you already can have a flashlight there um that's just I mean, you can have your flashlight out and your gun. You have two flashlights. Uh, so it doesn't add that much more weight. Uh, it's worth its money. And you can resell it in a few years and upgrade if you want. Um, you can find the 300 lumens uh, pretty decently priced if you just want to get into it just to get a light. Which I recommend if you're going to get one. Um, probably the 500 lumen. But if you're like, hey, I just want to get into it then go get a 300 lumen light all right uh make sure that it is compatible with your holster uh because basically so when you buy your holsters let's say it's these these price points may be a little off but let's say you're going to buy a, a safari land holster and it's a hundred dollars okay that accepts the glock okay and then it's 150 dollars to get one that ex is a light and accept the glock okay what i did when i bought my holster even though i didn't have my light yet I knew that I would eventually be getting one, so I just spent the extra 50 bucks instead of buying it for $100, and then, you know, two, three years down the road, or six months, or however long it's gonna take you, um, then spending another $150, and then you have that extra holster um, without a light. You can use your holster without a light that accepts a light in it with just your gun, like I did for years, so. I used it just like this. When I was public affairs, I didn't have a light. So I used it and it had the light holder in it. Um, so works just fine. All right. Um, that's it. That's all I can think of. Go get you one. Um, and this is, like I said, my Surefire. So I'll grade it real quick because I'll, I'll do this like, as, as a review. Um, so on a scale of zero being basically a Christmas light and a hundred being like the best light that's out there, okay? Uh, I would grade this a score of probably um, a 90. It has everything that I want, has everything that I need, and I like the looks of it and the feel of it. It just is another tool for me. So there you go. It's been graded. Check it out. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them on um, any like police outfitters website, uh, Big Techs, Galls. You can find you can find lights anywhere. Okay, you can find it at your local big box store. Just make sure it's gonna fit in your holster. Otherwise, you're gonna have to return it and then find one that does fit in your holster. All right, all right, and keep shooting.